how does electromagnetic induction works? Here, we have a magnet on the left side and a wire attached to a voltmeter that measures the amount of voltage. We can see that there is no current right now, but as we start to change the position of the magnet, we are starting to get current. Another way to look at this would be through a generator. We have a magnet right here on a wheel so that we can spin the magnet. We also have the wire again. We are gonna induce a current on the wire. If we turn on the faucet, it starts to move the magnet. As it changes its position, it changes the magnetic field giving us amount of current. If we increase the speed of the water, we get more current. And so, we start to get usable energy. What are the devices using electromagnetic induction that we will use in order to make our Octo Challenge presentation? We will use devices such as microphone and video camera for recording, a laptop or computer unit, and headphones for editing, and a cell phone or tablet for capturing behind the scenes and for mi minor editing. To start things up, we'll discuss about food contamination. Let's get started. There are three types of food contamination. Physical contamination like hair, metal, or wood in our food. Chemical contamination when those bug sprays or other cleaning products contaminate our food. And biological contamination if bugs or rodents are present in our food. It's important to keep you and your environment clean. By doing this, we prevent other people from getting sick. Always remember to wear clean clothes, remove our jewelry, cover our hair, and wear single-use gloves. We first clean an area to get rid of any crumbs or solid pieces, and then we sanitize to get rid of any bacteria. Cleaning and sanitizing are two different things. Let's be sure to store our food in a cool, dry place, away from any hazardous items. There are foods that are temperature sensitive, or those that should be stored in the temperatures 40 degrees below. The temperature danger zone is the zone where bacteria left love to thrive. This zone is between 40 degrees and 140 degrees. To help keep foods such as milk, dairy products, meat, poultry, fish or veggies away from the danger zone, do not let them sit for more than two hours. Keep the fresh or freezer items to their designated temperature. Reheat our food safely. We've made it to the end. We hope you learn a lot in this video. Food and food safety are two puzzle pieces that fit together. Practicing food safety will ensure a clean and safe environment for us and those we serve. This is Group 2 signing off.